In the year 1802, Ludwig van Beethoven, then 32 years old, was facing the greatest personal crisis of his life. The persistent buzzing and ringing in his ears that had begun eight years earlier had developed into the loss of 60% of his hearing, effectively ending his career as a virtuoso pianist and leaving him estranged from society. His despair and humiliation were so intense that he contemplated suicide. Yet Beethoven's ability to emerge from darkness through heroic struggle was essential to his identity. The first sketches for his third symphony, the Eroica, were written in the wake of this crisis. They were part of a renewed commitment to composition that brought forth an incredible burst of creativity. The next 12 years would be Beethoven's most prolific, just as importantly, he now brought a strongly poetic, rhetorical element to many of his compositions that left their genres completely changed. And no work exemplifies this evolution more than the Eroica. This symphony is almost twice as long as any previously written, the first movement alone being greater in length than many entire symphonies of Haydn and Mozart. The usual diversionary middle movements are replaced by a massive funeral march and an Olympian scherzo, while the finale's comically banal theme inspires a kaleidoscopic series of variations that range in atmosphere from the merry to the profound. Radically extended structures, remote harmonic excursions, jolting accents, and rhetorically unrestrained dissonance become the norm. Moreover, the music's purpose is different. Until this point, the controlling, organizing factors in a piece of abstract music like a symphony involved purely musical aesthetics and values. But what Beethoven invested in the Eroica, and in so many of his works going forward, is a powerfully subjective, dramatic, poetic subtext that drives the music. Beethoven's third symphony was originally dedicated to Napoleon, whose revolutionary ideals he'd admired. Yet perhaps the hero looming behind the work is Beethoven himself, the great artist who turned his defeats into victories. Here, the personal, individualistic aspect of Beethoven's music achieves the expressive fulfillment that made him a beacon to artists of the Romantic era and those who followed. After the Eroica, music would never be the same. Thank you.